I'm extremely concerned that their next move is a dash towards, um, it, you know, crossing the threshold if they haven't already, but, you know, demonstrating it or experimenting or, uh, or declaring. And uh, absolutely, I think uh, that's uh, my number one concern with Iran. But, but then let's just play that out for a moment. I mean, if that happens, then all of the other claims that you're able to look at with amusement, not take seriously, you've spoken about their air, air defense not being very strong, but they do have this experimental nuclear capacity, oh, for lack of absolutely. a better phrase. Don't get yeah. me wrong. All I said before, amusement is about their claims, not about what they try to do to us. Look, this thing is very costly for Israel. Let's not pretend like we don't worry about Iran, even on the conventional level. Of course we worry about Iran. But now, just play out the scenario. If Iran had been nuclear on October 7th, where would this have ended? And I'm not even talking about nuclear mm. use. I'm talking about nuclear hedging and and game playing and and uh, let's say threatening with uh, using nuclears or deploying nuclear in Lebanon for example or saying you will yeah. stop now you won't touch the Dahya anymore because now we have nuclear weapons and we consider Lebanon part of our umbrella now in India for example you've experienced these kind of situations you're very experienced at that that is something that is extremely hazardous as you know nuclear weapons can at least at some phase, at least the first phase that they come into play, be very, very dangerous conventionally and create and bold and create a lot of uh, friction conventionally. So Iran crossing a nuclear threshold is uh, most certainly something that we simply should not allow to happen.